Hello everybody, Aquia here, and welcome back to an episode of Pixelmon. Yes, I am on the mod Pixelmon. And just before I start, a lot of you might think might think it's stupid, it's dumb, the game's for little kids. But really, it's nowhere close to being just for little kids. I mean, I dare you to, to give an eight-year-old this game and figure out how to work IVs, EVs, a good strategy and competitive battle. I mean, there's, like, s national events for this game. It's, it's not a child's game. I mean, yes, childs do play it, but it's not restricted to only children. So, on saying that, let's just play around a little bit. Um, and one real quick thing is I've been playing this game for around two weeks, and I've been having real fun with it, and I would be happy to start a series on it but I have kind of a lot of series going right now and I would need a lot of support for this so I'm just gonna say if maybe one-fourth of you or half of you um, go in the comment section and tell me to start I'll do it I'll happily do it but if that doesn't happen well that shows me you guys don't want it to happen but anyway let's forget about that let's just have a little bit of fun well uh, my uh, my starter was a Piplup, and if you probably you guys probably already guessed, um, I've already started this game a lot. I mean, this has been two weeks of playing a lot. So anyway, I started a little bit of a um, couple farms for some apricorns. And if you guys don't know, um, apricorns you use to make pokeballs. So what you do is you take like this apricorn, stick this in the furnace, you make it a cooked apricorn, and then you have to get like Two cooked black ones, uh, one cooked white one. You can make an ultra ball like top lid. Then you need to get three iron on the crafting table, make a bottom, make a stone button, and that'll make your pokeball. But blah blah blah. Yep. And I've gotten a few things done. I'll show you guys what Pokemon I have so far. And this is a normal Poke Center, but I kind of spiced it up a bit with these blocks. This can get you to the basement, stuff like that. Um, I put lights in so you can turn off the lights like that. And I've got my average enchanting table. I got some apricorns. I got some lids. Um, some ores and random stuff. Some redstone. Some Pokemans. Pokemon stuff. Some Pokemon. Yep, and I've got myself some tools. Nether portal. Trading station. Some healers. PC. Bed. Anvil, which you make Pokeballs with. Some furnaces. And I've actually have some cooked stuff in here, which I will gladly take out. Then I know I have some stone in these ones. All right, so let's. Act, I'm gonna make. So I'll show you guys how to make the ultra ball lid. So what you need is to do this. Then you make it like that. Let's see if I have any more. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. All right, well, let's put the rest of them in here. Yep, and that's how you make the lids, and then you put the lids on the anvil, and then you smash them down, and stuff like that. So, yep, pretty self-explanatory. And then, yeah, and there is a new ore in this. There's not, it's just really, this one is the aluminium, and with that, you can make plates and stuff, which you make these with. But real quick, I want to show you the Pokemon I have. So I have been catching a lot, stuff like Fero, Doug, Dugdrio, Chansey, Oddish, um, whoa, this is one of those rare moments where I actually forget a name, Arbok, how did I forget that, and when I first started playing Pokemon, he was one of the first ones I caught, well, must be just because I'm recording, Ghastly, Seeking, Kadabra, Snorlax, Magnemite, Onix, Bulldor, and then, uh, uh see, right, when I start recording, I, for I forget the names. Um, Venipede, I think. Bisharp, Marie, Pikachu, Electabuzz, Vulpix, Rhydon, Luxio. It's either Ponyta or Rapidash. I don't know by the sprite. Coughing, and Toadile. Then I caught some of the starters. Actually, I caught a Squirtle, Croconaw, which is the evolution of. Uh, nope. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, yep. Uh, the Croconaw's evolution of Toad Isle. Got myself a Mudkip. This is my flyer. 
Zoroark. Well, this is Tropius, by the way. And then I just caught some good ones, um, like Solosis, Scyther, Larian, Cottony, Bagon, and then a bunch of other people. But, yeah. And you want know one really great thing about this mod is, in normal Pokemon, there's only one size for every Pokemon. So let's see. Um, let's, I'm going to take out a few examples, like my Squirtle. Uh, let's take out this, Solosis, Cottony, and then Croconaut. So if we if we press E, which our inventory, right click on them, summary, and here's all your stuff. So we can go look at the typing, all that, moves, and it says all the power, so it's really great. But one thing is is the growth. So this actually means how big the actual Pokemon can get. So it can uh, literally any Pokemon out there, the same Pokemon can be small down on the floor or it can be super high like Napoleon, I think it's average size. Actually, looks pretty cool. Let's retrieve it. But like this Squirtle, it's not supposed to be this big. This is actually a huge Squirtle. I mean, and it's the first evolution, so really, it's supposed to be really small. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to training that Squirtle to get it bigger. But real quick, I'm actually gonna demonstrate how, how to make some Pokeballs. Well, what you do, since I don't have any iron right now I just ran out is you put three iron down in this row and it'll make like lids and then you take those uh, you take those lids stick them on here take a hammer smash them down and then you do the same thing with these so let's actually take some of these uh, let me grab my good hammer so what you have to do is you have to put them down and then smash them until they do that I don't want to do too many of these on camera. Yep, so that's how you do it. You got to do it for both the lid and everything else. I'm just going to leave that one on there. And then what you need to do is put the hammer back because I'm not going to be using that. What you need to do is take these. Let's take these too. I'm going to need 10 buttons. And then 10 buttons. So you take, take the Ultra Ball lid, the stone buttons, it needs to be stone button, and then an iron base, and then that makes you Ultra Balls. And then you could also do that with Great Balls, Poke Balls, you can make really any of the balls. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of anything else I forgot. But, um, real quick, let's actually pick some of the ones we want. So I want Empoleon with me, I want my Croconaw. I don't want this cottony, I don't want this Lotus. I want I want all my water starters because I don't know if you guys knew, but I'm a water kind of guy. It's my favorite typing, blah blah blah. So I'm gonna bring my wa I can't forget my Nope, I don't want Toadile, I want one kip because I already have Krakna. Then of course I want my flyer and just one Uber one. Like mm, I'm gonna bring Zone Roark with me because it's cool. Yep, so and also, if you press the bracket buttons, you can switch in between the Pokemon. So I'm going to lead with my Empoleon. Yep, and, it, and also, it's kind of just like vanilla Minecraft. You still can get iron, gold, diamonds, make normal tools. There's still stuff like that. There's still the normal biomes. But there is ra uh, random Pokemon walking around, like this is Ekans. And you'll find them all over the place. There's Arbok. Stuff like that. So, yeah, it's really cool. Jesus. Rhyhorn. Oh, it looks really cool, but it's a really small one anyway. So, yep. And one quick thing to note is that there is no mobs in this game. There's no cows, no pigs, no chickens. There's nothing. There's only Pokemon. And see the drops that I'm getting? Um, so, if there is no mobs in this game, then we need a way to get items. So, what the creators made is the Pokemon actually drop items. If you uh, faint them, kill them, whatever you guys want to call it, they actually drop the items. So, yep. Let's put that in there. And yeah. So, yeah, let's go to that actually. And just so you guys know, that this world is no cheats on. So none of this is cheated in any way. Like, I have no cheats on, so there's no way I can do it. Just so you guys know. So this is all legit. All these farms are legit. All the Pokemon are legit. I actually have to go mine for the materials, get the materials, blah, blah, blah. Again. But I'm thinking we just go around and do some stuff. 
And one really cool thing about Pokemon is, um, like in the games, you can fly. You can also fly in this one, but in a much cooler way. So if we send out Tropius, our flyer, we can mount him, and we can go fly up in the air. So, yep, we can just fly around and we can get places quicker. And then with these Pokeballs, we can catch stuff, if we find anything cool. Yep, and guys, so, yeah, I just kind of want, and there's a Jinx over there, those nasty things. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to pop in the game, just show you guys what I've been doing. Just have a little bit of fun, but guys, what I'm going to do is since I actually want to get to a certain biome. I have a lot of my water starters with me that I actually want to level up. So I'm going to be going to a sand biome. And how this game works is each Pokemon has a typing. Like there's ground, rock, water, poison, bug, whatever, flying, um, dark, poison, ghost. So all these... Pokemon have typings, and some of them are effective against other ones, and blah, blah, blah. And if you really net, well, what is that? Oh, it's just a new mole, stupid new mole. If you guys have never heard of this game, don't, I wouldn't go to Pixelmon first, because you won't know anything. Go online, maybe go get yourself a DS, maybe a random one of these games, and start playing, so you can get kind of the feel of it. But anyway, yeah, what I was going to say is, Certain Pokemon that have a certain typing spawn a certain biome. So, water, my water types are super effective against either ground or rock. I forgot which one. I don't feel like looking it up. And those spawn in the desert biome. So, that's where I'm going to be heading. So, guys, I don't want to take this entire trip flying. So, I'm actually going to go to the desert biome. And I'll see you guys. Hey, what is up, guys? <laughs> I've actually found something really special. I was just going to the desert biome, like I said, and I found a Chimchar. This is actually a starter, so this is very special. It's a fire starter, I think, from the Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum generation series, whatever you guys want to call it. And I, these things are special. You don't see these everywhere. Chimchar! So, um, I actually really do want to catch it. So, well, I don't want to waste my Ultra Balls, because I only have ten. So let's switch into Mudkip, since he's super effective against it, and let's battle it. And the battle animation is a little Mudkip. bit screwed up, but I don't care. We we'll just have to deal with it. So let's tackle this thing. Clear. Right, so let's try to get it down to maybe the Mudkip. red or the Chimchar. yellow. But far down yellow. Please don't kill it. Mudkip, don't kill it, don't kill it. Yes, perfect, thank you. Now let's throw an Ultra Ball at it. Let's try to catch this thing, because this thing is very special. Come on, don't break out of the ball. Come on. Mudkip! Ah. Oh, you realize I'm either gonna kill you, or I'm gonna capture you. You have no choice. Mudkip. Stay in there. Or I'm gonna kill you. I don't wanna waste all these Pokeballs on the stupid Chinchar. Come on, I have other stuff to catch. I don't wanna waste all my Pokeballs on... I mean, I do want to waste them all on a starter Mudkip. because they're very special, but I don't want to if it's not necessary. Now, now I'm scared I'm actually going to run out of Pokeballs Mudkip. for this thing. And Chimchar, um, it evolves into Mudkip. Infernape as its final evolution, and it is a fire fighting type. So it's a pretty good typing, pretty cool Pokemon. Pretty uber, too. Yes, caught it. And we are left with six Pokeballs, which... Sorry, guys, my nose. Um, We, we did waste a, quite a couple on it, which I'm not too happy about. But we still have six, so I can't complain. But anyway, guys, yep, we just caught a Chimchar, which is awesome, honestly. Chimchar is a really great starter. So again, like I said, I'm going to the desert, so I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, we are not at the desert still, and I just fell off my Pokemon, and it's falling, 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 falling. But, <laughs> I just came across this little island filled with all these Pokemon, look at that. They're all Psyduck, Slowpokes, Poliwhirls, Poliwhirl, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of thought that was pretty interesting, so, let's try to hop back on our Pokemon. There we go, fly. Oh, what's down there? I see a Krabby, a couple of Raditas, Ender Pearls. 
I'll take those. <laughs> uh, square dolls. Square dolls. Alright, actually this is a pretty good example of size comparison. So look, their Squirtle compared to my Squirtle. Look, my Squirtle is huge. So yeah, there is different sizes in this game and my Squirtle is awesome because it's huge and no one can take it down. So, anyway guys, I'm actually going to keep looking for the desert. I think my Tropius is drowning. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking for the desert and when I find it, Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, another little detour is I found a Stardew out in the middle of an ocean. And actually, this is one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, there's a Rayquaza. The only problem is there's a glitch where Rayquaza spawn like 100 times a day, so that's crap. But Stardew, again, is one of my favorite Pokemon. And it's the first time I've ever seen one, so let's try to catch it. Uh, I'll try not to miss. Bam. So let, please stay in there, because I don't want to waste any more Pokeballs on you. And again, you can throw the Pokeballs just like this if you don't want to stay. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Alright, guys. Yep. So, yep, just caught one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm going to evolve it into a Staryu because I think I have a Water Stone at my house. I'm not sure. But, so many little detours. I'm still heading for the desert. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys there. Hey, guys. Well, um, I'm having another little detour. While I was just running around doing my thing, looking for the desert... I actually found another Poke Center, so um, uh, this is actually what I built my house from. This was the original. I changed it up a bit, obviously. But yep, this is like these spawn randomly in every biome, and these are the healers. I stick my Pokeballs in there. You can see my cursor on the screen because I can't actually move. There's my Pokeballs, and they all get healed. So if you look at my Mudkip, bam, healed. But it's tradition for me to take everything, so. Let's loot this place. And of course, this is a single player world, so I don't think anyone's gonna really care that I loot a Poke Center. I mean, and one thing is, the only thing I leave behind is the healers because those can't be. I mean, if I break them, they disappear. So really, I just leave them in there. And let's take these bookshelves with us. Or really, the books, because the bookshelf goes away. I just want the books, really. Let's take these with us. And we'll take these back home. But before we actually leave, I want to get some of our tools like... Let's grab this. Well, this I need to make a pick, really. Um, Alright, well, we're going to have to scavenge the ground for something. One. These will make us sticks. And then we need three more pieces of wood. I don't have an action now, that's why I'm breaking it with my hand. And I want to grab the PC and the trading machine. Let's grab all these. Alright, let's make this. The crafting table, bam. This and the sticks. Nope. And with that, we got a pickaxe. Let's put all this crap away. Ender pearl. I actually haven't gotten ender pearls. And let's grab all the machines, except these, because we can't break those. Oh, that's weird. I think I broke the block behind it. Cause these have weird hitboxes, like you have to hit them in a certain place. Alright, so let, yep, we got the machines. And that place has been raided. Well, uh, I found another poke center, and I'm not going to raid this one on camera, but just so you know, I'm raiding it. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, well, uh, I've made a couple decisions that you might not like, you might like, but I'm actually going to split this episode into two parts. So... Be looking forward to, like, for sure, another episode of Pixelmon pretty soon because what happened is, is I want to go to the desert, but it took me so long to find it. And I'm already at 20-something minutes, and I can't get it. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the desert for next episode, where I'm probably going to evolve my Squirtle, my Mudkip, um, maybe my Croconaw. So, the whole desert thing, it's going to happen next episode. So... Um, I found another, uh, what's called Poke Center, and I'll raid this one, and then I think I'm gonna end off the episode, but, quick thing, this is so weird, look at this water glitch right here, I wonder if I put a block there, will it mess it up, nope, guess not, that's a really weird water glitch, but, yeah, let's just raid this real quick, so I wanna take the PC, 
the second PC. No, I'm not behind it. I want to take the PC. There we go. No, there's the trading machines up here. Nope, not the snow. I need the trading machine. Yep, so guys, sorry about talking about the desert all episode and not actually doing it. But, you know what? I think it's a good thing because then you guys will be having another episode for sure of Pixelmon. So, I don't think it's too bad. Let's just break. Nope, I guess we, I was going to break it, but I guess we don't need to. Yep, and these ones do have torches under them, so we're going to need to kind of break the snow. But, uh, snow doesn't take too long to break, so it's okay. Go grab grab all these and guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish raiding well rubber banding <laughs> I'm gonna finish raiding this little poke center then I'm gonna go home we can recap what we did and get a little bit prepared for next episode so for the last time I'll see you guys there all right guys well we are back at my house so this is going to be the end of episode 1 of Pixelmon, and guys, if you want this to be a real series, tell me in the comments. If not, I will still be making small videos about it, but not, like, a series. So, anyway, yep. Let's just recap what we did today. Let's check our PC. We got a Staryu and a Chimchar. Let's actually grab those. Let's put these two away. Let's grab those and look at them. So we have Chimchar that we caught. I think it's pretty small. And our Staryu. So let's capture. Let's get back those. Let's get their summaries. This one, giant. Really? Its growth is giant? It looks pretty small to me. Well, we will have to grow this one up to see what it looks like later. And ordinary. So, yep. They're pretty two average sizes. One's giant, though, which is awesome. So let's put some of our stuff away, like the blocks going here. Um, and one thing I did get is these two rocks, and I think, like, if you get a certain level of EV by them, they'll evolve. Uh, I can't place that there, why not? Can I place it here? Or can I place it? Alright, well, I guess I'm placing it right there. So I'm just gonna put those two down, let's put the power blaze, uh, something in there. That in there, uh, gotta put our books in there. Sticks. And stuff, more plants and stuff in here. Let's put no, the machines go in the ores. The redstone go up here. And let's just organize this a little bit because it looks all dirty and messy and all like that. And let's put our tool in here. So guys, yep, that has been first episode of Pixelmon. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment to support my channel. And God bless and goodbye.